Hey everybody, I'm going to do a little quick video here of my Harbor Freight panels and I want to show you this Thermodyne uh, systems right here, data meter. It's a watt meter. So you can take a look. I hope you can see that clearly. It's a watt meter. And right now I'm getting 67 watts in, uh, and what is that, uh, 5.4 amps coming in. And there is the meter. Now this one here is showing 12.1 volts. And this one over here, which is much more accurate, is showing 12.4. I trust this a lot more because it is the original. It's a Thermodyne. So uh, you'll see a lot of these look familiar in white and brown and green and red and all kinds of colors. That, if you see that right there where it says Thermodyne, that's the original. So stick with it. Look how heavy these freaking wires are. I mean, these are freaking monsters, man. Uh, th this is the real deal. Now, what I'm showing you here with this Harbor Freight panel setup, there's a four panel. 100 watt panels on the roof and you can see the data logging what it's doing and what it's putting out and right now it's putting out 78 watts all right now had a little cloud cover go over now with that 78 watts if you look up here on my panels they're just freaking filthy they are just filthy now this is the benefit of an amorphous solar panel is that even with the dirt bird crap and everything else on these panels they put out an amazing amount of power okay so you don't have to worry whether or not you're getting a uh, a bad deal on your panels because the amorphous panel will put out more power dirty like this than any of the other monocrystallines polycrystallines and those people who trash talk amorphous you know screw them they don't know what the hell they're talking about and these panels for Har from harbor freight they're a massive upgrade i mean they really are they're a hell of an upgrade so getting back in here as you can see my setup i've got that inverter over there running right now so let's go over there and it's running right now with this heater on see that so we'll turn it off the fan and i and i had the heater turned all the way up so it would come on it's very hot and um, drawing a load so that we got the premium performance of this setup right here. So as you can see in the batteries and the inverter and all that stuff up in there, that uh, Thermodyne right there gives you an absolute accurate feed on what's going on with your panels. So if you wanna learn how to angle them certain ways and all that, that's the best thing in the world to have is one of those right there. Um, and sitting in the back of my truck is a 2013 battery being charged up off of the system. So just giving y'all an update. You've seen it with extreme, the 70 watts with extremely dirty panels. And you guys who like this kind of setup, hey, there's nothing better in the world, man. Making your own power. All right.